Is that oh. like a five inch needle or something? Yeah. I did Devin respond to that better than me. Michael Todd, what are you doing? We are headed to actually get those stem cells that Michael's doctor told him he could get a couple of weeks ago or so. Absolutely. It's a top quality by the cell biologic stem cells. Yes. It's going to take care of us once again. So, absolutely. Super excited because this is really going to expedite my recovery a lot. A lot of people have asked why we got stem cells in, and uh, the doctor said he wanted to wait six weeks. It's been almost nine weeks, so super excited to get these stem cells. Yeah, well, the good news is I'm getting them too. I'm, I'm Cut optimistic off. that these stem cells are going to be amazing for us both. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to rewind the clock like 20, 30 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we are getting spot injections, but we're also getting IV, right? Yep. All right. All right, so we made it here, guys. TNT stem cells. Going to get this bionic arm, see what this lab can create. Something special is coming soon, baby. Let's check it out. Nice to meet Mike you. Mike and Melissa Traxler. Ah. Yeah, no relation, yeah. by the way. Yeah. No it relation. is an Israel. This no, is our no nurse. Relation. I forgot Mary about Grace. that. Yeah. Mary Grace. Hello, how you doing? So Mary I thought Grace. you were a husband and wife team. It's no relation. No relation. No We've known each other for about 15 years. I knew her before she was a Traxler. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. She, I used to have a born name, Smith. Ah. <laughs> I used to train. Used to train some fighting, cage fighting, and all. Okay, and, uh, yeah. She used to be the ring doctor in a lot of the fights. Very. So cool. that's how kind of how we met oh, and awesome. became friends, and uh, here we are. So you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. She, she, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, she's here. been so hurt. We don't know what's going on with her. Oh, like, no. her I hurt she, everywhere she right now. Glute like six, seven weeks ago, and yeah. it just has not gotten better. But now, like her tailbone's hurting her. She, her. The whole ride down here was horrible. Her left hip's messed up. Her left shoulder's messed up. Like we're just we're falling apart. But well, yeah. we hope to fix that today. All we right, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So um, my surgeon, he told me that he didn't want stem cells for the first six weeks because I had so much bone. Mm -hmm. He's afraid my body is so used to having the bone that the stem cells would go in there and recreate the bone. Mm -hmm. After six weeks, you re x rayed it. There was no more bone growth. It's like, like you're going to get it with stem cells again. So, so it's just hand up, bicep, shoulder. Let's jam that puppy up, you know? Okay. Okay. I mean, I've got a long road recovery to get back to mm -hmm. that elite level. Ready, go! This is something new for you. Yes, it is. Michael is getting um, infusion stem cells. So, we're going to mm -hmm. start an mm -hmm. IV. We're going to look at your face when we go to the needle. He has beautiful veins. Do you say that I don't even have a tourniquet on him? Yeah. yeah. I put it on there and I was like, this thing is futile. What is the benefit of having the infusion versus okay. spot? The infusion goes okay. all throughout the body. Okay. What we've experienced in the past with patients, what they tell us, because it gets throughout their entire body, it gets in the heart, the lungs, and the kidneys, and just goes all throughout the body and helps repair things that you don't even know might be going on that's not right in your body, but the stem cell get in there and start repairing it, make things better uh, with this. Mm -hmm. And so your organs are getting some love from the stem cell, you know? There you go. Okay, hold up. Let's straighten a couple things out. First, stem cells are a special type of cell found in the body. They're unique because they can become any type of cell and they act as both building blocks and repair mechanisms in your body. Exosomes carry genetic information and proteins in cells and they create new paths for communication between cells. And the stem cells and the exosomes are looking for areas of inflammation and looking for areas of chronic problems. And that's where they're going to start dropping off first. That's the more inflammation, the more of them will drop off. Or the ones will keep circulating around, looking for problem areas. Oh, so it's kind of like your inflammation is sending up smoke signals. Come here. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then little heat seeking missiles are going to find them. Oh, that's way cool, way cool. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. you know how earlier when I was saying maybe that we need to figure out how to get stem cells closer to home? Yeah, that was a lie. Yeah. If I can come to get stem cells and get menus. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, baby. Starting tomorrow, baby. So, how you feeling, honey? Come you feeling 20? I'm probably about 25 right now. All right. Like I'm approaching 20. Not quite there yet. I'm very excited. So, guys, I'm not letting the monster do this all alone. I'm going to, he can't have him running around being 20. <laughs> I got to be 20 with him. Uh, so she all right. So, so are you feeling younger? I'm like 10 years old. old. <laughs> no, is it I'm the very IV excited. Or is it the beignets? Yeah. The beignets. No. <laughs> no, I'm very excited. I'm excited for you. Oh, you're excited about that increased sex drive. That's what it is. I know he's putting that out there. I'm not upset about it. We'll be looking up for a follow up report. <laughs> Is that like a five-inch needle or something? No. 
I mean, oh. like, depends on who you ask. If you'd like to hear about our e shot, we can get off. Guys are always messing up the inches, right? Guys are always really, messing up. We really can't. Well, the, no, you've been told that was five is, inches forever. Right? I know, right? Yeah, definitely. So, no, we're right, having me Shoulders are actually so much deeper than you think. They just, they are. They are. That looks like, like an we, epidural needle. It is huge. It's spinal. Okay. Thought it was. Yeah, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Now, yeah, that's a spinal needle. I know she didn't give me one that big last time, but. No, and the whole thing will not be in there. Yeah, yeah. No, but it just allows that's us kind of the same way at whenever we <laughs> going down. Just the tip. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the same way, like whenever we were going into the bite, uh, right here, that that she didn't have to go in all the way, but she still had that option to allow right. it if yep. need be. Because, and the reason I say this is because the many, many shoulders that we have done on bigger guys like you, we're, we end up burying that two and a half inch. Oh, okay. And well, we yeah, want to more. make 100% positive that we are getting where we need to go. Yes, with cold color. All right. Big deep breath in, in through the nose. Hold it for a second and out. It's a big old dose too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's some juice right on it. Yes. We got some juice going on. We are very too. Yeah, you can see how it's all kind of discolored. That's that some of the swamp water. There you go. So that's yeah, a good stuff right there. My house. Right. Got that right out of an alligator. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder which one's better, swamp water or Chernobyl juice? I'm, I'm taking both. <laughs> Give me a concoction of both of those. Deep breath in. It is a tender spot. Breathing. You might feel pressure, right? Big, yep, big pressure. Just take big deep breaths through the nose in. So I don't know if you want to see. I don't. <laughs> right now she's trying to. ultrasound machine. And then like purse your lips as you're breathing out like you're trying to blow out some birthday candles. So you see how we there filled all that up? Yeah, you did. So that was uh, that is a tender spot. It, yeah. How did Devin respond to that? Better than me? No, uh, no. no man. Cool. Yeah, to hang out, talk to Mike. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. That's cool, man. We got it. Yes, got sir. It. Yes, sir. We're doing good here. Yeah, maybe we go shoot some guns after this. Guns. <laughs> pressure. Yeah. Pressure. We got yeah. a bunch of them back there right now. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Thanks for taking my mind off this. <laughs> Great job. Mike. Twenty years. Hold it and let it out. Good. There you go. Here comes some pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. good. Doing good. Got it. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. yeah, look at that. We're getting on. All so right. tell me about that 10 point. <laughs> He's beautiful. Beautiful. Deep breath. And let it out. All right, here comes that pressure. Move a little bit back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got we got to a pretty good depth. Got two inch needle. And got two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, you had at least halfway. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that'll be good. And and then it, hopefully it can just get on down into all the other stuff and we didn't right. mess with anything your surgeon was trying to take care of. And but yeah, that being said, that one, when you put the pressure on it, it was a twinge well, for sure. Like you know I felt what made you jump the most is actually injecting the stuff. Like I think it was just all really tight. Yeah, that's what it was. It was so fluid, yeah. was, you feel how tight that is anyway there. Mm -hmm. from, so once you injected it, was that so much pressure? Right. So final instructions, basically, um, you know, don't drink alcohol in excess, not a bunch of processed foods. Uh, don't take any anti-inflammatories for at least two weeks. Okay. Um, of course, no steroid shots, uh, like for inflammation. What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> no pancakes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but I'm talking like, you know, the uh, ones that, for inflammation, you know. No, I got you. Uh, um, but anyway, um, Nothing, nothing, don't take any anti-inflammatories, no heavy drinking, um, no, not a lot of processed food, try to eat clean. Uh, don't do any heavy lifting, no heavy workouts. Uh, give the stem cell time to work because stem cell just takes about time. About how long do you need before you can start? Well, I, I don't even go back to the doctor until June 1st, so I won't be doing anything heavy until at least then. Is that about enough time? That should be about plenty of time. Okay, cool, that cool, should cool. be plenty of awesome. Good deal, good deal. I'm super excited. I mean, oh, I'm excited too, man. Yeah. I, I just, I'm, I'm so glad we were able to give you a shot in the skull. <laughs> All right, skull gates. <laughs>
<laughs> awesome, brother. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for hooking up Rebecca as well. That is going to be amazing. Um, super excited. And hey, anytime you want to guinea pig this guy, let me know. I'm down. <laughs> we got some stuff coming up. Uh, we're definitely going to be there. Maybe we come up to Arkansas and visit y'all guys. Of course, absolutely. Anytime. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Wait, Michael Todd, what are you doing? Well, you saw Devin's video, right? So I figured I should double up on the stem cells plus skull gains.